Hello bitches, Sarla Cruz again with a, yet another review. This time with the unrated copy of You guessed it the first Halloween. And everything is pretty much the same in this film. Same director, same writer, even the same editor, same cast, mostly. Uh I would say this is superior to the John Carpenter version. Then again, the John Carpenter version, I think it still holds up, but this one is so much better. It shows all the backstory. It's how Michael Myers became the psychopath that he was. It's a great reimagining of the of, of the classic. Like if the Rob Zombie, he knows how to make horror films. Unlike a lot of Hollywood films that just don't seem to be too good. The other remakes, like the Freddy remake or the... Jason remake, the Friday the 13th remakes, those weren't really good remakes, but this this is definitely a great remake. You're missing out if you haven't seen this by now, even though it came out in 2010. Saw it in theaters, rented it later on, and then eventually bought it at, um, I forget what the store was. It wasn't Blockbuster or Big Lots this time, or even GameStop. A lot of great, great actors that you you haven't seen in a while. Great to see Danny Trejos and some of the other actors in his films that you don't, don't see anymore. I like Rob Zombie, how he casts his films, using mostly people that Hollywood is deemed as unworthy of screen time because they don't cast them anymore. See a lot of actors you haven't seen in a while. A lot of great shots, steady cam all around. It's very dark, especially in the night scene. Sometimes you can't, well, it's hard to tell, especially with the close ups, what the hell is happening sometimes. Like I say, that just adds to the suspense. So if you want to see a great horror film and a remake at that, watch this. Even watch the second one, even though the second one's kind of weird. Watch this over and over again. Should be the blueprint of how to remake a horror movie nowadays. Not too many good horror films that have been re been remade. Only a few. Chainsaw Massacre was a pretty good one. Evil Dead was a pretty great, great version too. I was surprised. So yeah, check this out. Rob Zombie at his finest <clears throat> doing horror films. So I like this movie a lot ever since I first saw it and now since I own it. I've seen it quite a few times. This one definitely belongs on the stack. I know I said I was going to do Soul Survivors next but I'm going to hold off on that. Probably do some Rob Zombie films like House of a Thousand Corpses and uh, The Devil's Rejects because I own the Rob Zombie box set. I'll do that next and hold off on uh, Soul Survivor for a while. Maybe even do Argo after I'm done with those Rob Zombie films. All right, man. It's kind of late, dude, but I'm still gonna stay up and watch my uh, Revolution and. Uh, Ultraviolet, 44, kill time for the East Enders, it starts at 2. Well, until later, bitches. Peace.